being invited by China Daily to share our humble investment experience in the Philippines. I'm the CEO at the China Sea Investment Cooperative Fund based in Hong Kong. Our investment fund was set up in uh, 2010 with a view to make a total of uh, 10 billion US dollar private equity investment in several countries in the ASEAN countries. Our investment capital mainly comes from China institutions. We already invested closely to 1 billion US dollars for our fund one or our first tranche since the fund inception. The primary industry that we have invested in have been port, telecom, infrastructure, power, shipping and logistics, natural resources, agriculture, healthcare, etc. We will start our fund two of three billion US dollars in the first half of the next year. The investment fund has commercial objectives as a self-sustainable business, but it also has an important objective, which is to provide equity capital and the China connectivity to those industries that can contribute to the future development and the economic growth of the ASEAN countries. Humble us would say that we differentiate from other PE investment funds in that we are the only cozy China sovereign fund in ASEAN. With our strong interconnectivities with China and our substantial ASEAN investment and operational experience, we have been able to provide the necessary interconnectivities between our investing company and China. Not only we provide necessary growth capital to the companies to further their growth and expansion, we provide the additional unique China value to our investing company. For example, some of our infrastructure companies through China ASEAN Fund have engaged top construction and operating firms from China that provide cost-effective highly reliable and excellent quality construction solutions. In the past, some of our investing companies were able to obtain the necessary debt financing from the Chinese banks and the financial institutions, and the basis of our role as a sale holder. Furthermore, if your company is looking to enter into or expand your downstream market in China, we have in the past opened up those downstream channels to them. Given our substantial experience in ASEAN, we will continue to assist the strategic investors or partners from China to further cooperation with the local business in ASEAN to achieve the name of our fund indicated, the cooperation, and ultimately provide a win-win strategy and a solution to all concerned. <coughs> The fund one of our P fund made its maiden investment <coughs> in the Philippines in 2010, way back to the year in which Philippines was slowly emerging from the global financial crisis. At the time, China ASEAN funds saw an opportunity in the shipping and the logistic industries. With our view, the upgrading of and the consolidation of the industry was forthcoming. We became one of the shareholders to Negro Navigation, which used our investment proceeds to make necessary expansion and acquisition. Now, after a number of years of hard work and indispensable cooperation and partnership between the management led by Mr. Zhong Tak and the China ASEAN Fund, the merged company successfully went through an operational and business risk restructuring and integration, including increased operational efficiency and asset utilization, critical process improvement, improvement in financial management, optimization of capital structure, and the cooperation governance, and the last but not least, product consumers refocusing strategy, so on and so forth. 
we are very proud to have contributed to a higher service level and the safety standard of the shipping industry. And with some good fortunes, we are now riding on the economical boom of the Philippines, and the company has uh, quadrupled its financial performance since we invested. This investment has given us a very positive experience in the Philippines. Not only it proved that with hard work and uh, tenacity, cities, the Philippines shipping and logistic industry has improved vastly from benefiting our equity capital as well as our other contributions to the company. It also generates a tremendous amount of goodwill from a successful partnership cooperation among the Filipino management, the chairman of the board, Dr. Francis Chu, and a China Cozy Sovereign Investment Fund. In our mind, no doubt, this goodwill between the two countries generated from this investment will continue to blossom and set a positive tone for the foreseeable future. Thus, China ASEAN Fund in one of the key China outbound investment platforms in ASEAN, continues to be very optimistic about the economy development of the, of the Philippines. We believe with a younger and dynamic and educated population and its abundance in natural resources, Philippines will continue to outpace some of other ASEAN countries in terms of economic growth. We are particularly hopeful in infrastructure, manufacturing, agriculture and food, tourism, and the consumption sectors. We look forward to further investment opportunities and are part of this exciting economic growth in the near future. Thank you very much.